Hello there, YouTubers, and welcome to another Dr. Cassette video presentation. Now, today we're looking at the Nordmende model PA7060 amplifier, which I'm not going to keep, by the way. I'm going to sell it because I don't like it. But this is a really, really interesting amplifier, so let's start and take a look at the features. Let's go from left to right. Here we have the power switch, which is a real stupid setup. Only thing that seems to do is to turn off the speaker outputs and all the lights on the front. It doesn't turn off the transformer or anything, so that's stupid. We have a bass and treble control, digital balance, which I'll explain in a minute. Here we have the input selector. It's all pretty much self-explaining. You get a bunch of inputs. including a magnetic phono input. You also get a record shift key and that selects your record output. So if you want to record the record player you can you have to press this and then this to select the record light above the phono light. Uh, this also somehow turns on the tape monitors and uh, this amplifier has two of those. Here we have a adjustable surround processor. This has this amplifier has outputs for rear speakers and uh, using those it's somehow generating some kind of a surround sound effect. So you can see you get a whole set of um, settings up there and uh, now it seems now these are all selected using a slider control so also due to the way this is set up, concert hall, opera, cathedral, it's getting bigger and bigger, so I think this really is just uh, adding an echo to the sound. I haven't tried that though, because uh, I'm not interested in trying it. Uh, now here we have a surround button, which turns that on and off, and a loudness control. Now here is the reason why I'm showing this thing to you, this is the really, really weird volume control. Now, I want to zoom in on that. You can see digital volume and balance indicator. Hmm, what does that mean? Now, this is not a regular turning knob. It does turn, but just a little bit. Weird, isn't it? And uh, same is for the digital balance. Now, let's turn this thing on, and uh, as you can see, we have a display in the volume control right there. And uh, now, it's a very weird setup. <laughs> Get some push buttons which are set up in a way that uh, you have a turning knob on the front. Same as for the digital balance, if I turn that, you can see in that center and uh, yeah, there is that. Very very weird setup. And uh, now here we have, uh, that's the input selector and that's your record shift. See, the record starts flashing and then, uh, whoops, that didn't work. Okay, there we go. Now this amplifier also features a remote control, which I don't have, and uh, you can see it has a bunch of features that it proudly tells you on the front. So now, let's give this thing a test. Here we go. Due to this music that I played, the original video had to be taken down, so I can really only give you a very short sample in this new edit. 
So here finally is a look at the back of the unit. These are photos that I took for the eBay auction. And that's it. So thank you for watching.